Hi guys, so here is my poncho completed and uh, I did have to redo this in the, in the beginning several times because um, my neckline was twisting and I thought well maybe, <clears throat> sorry guys, I have allergies really bad. I felt like I was, I've been sick for like um, a month and a half, two months, and then I'm thinking, well, probably this isn't uh, sickness at all. It is really bad allergies. <clears throat> but, um, so the poncho itself is completed, and I will show you a picture of that. But I am going to do the tutorial with a different, easier-to-use yarn. The hook that I used... For this one, since it's a fuzzy, thicker yarn, it was an N 9mm. That's what I used for this. And I'm just going to be using um, green Red Heart yarn for the tutorial. And I will be using a J 6mm with that yarn. Um, so yeah. I had to keep pulling this out and I thought, well, maybe I can't do a fuzzy yarn for this because it was driving me crazy, but I finally got it worked up. I will show you a picture of me wearing it and uh, let's get started with the tutorial. And in the background, you'll see a, a fish tank. I have snails in there. I <laughs> I'm big on my fish and my snails and stuff, so I needed a background and figured, hey, why not my snails, right? So anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, to start out, you're going to need to chain um, a large row. Um, and this is the number that you use is going to be based on uh, neck size. Um, I think with my fuzzy one, I actually chained a little too many. The neckline is quite large. Um, but you can always test it out on yourself or, um, whoever you're planning on making it for. Um, for a child, you might want to only chain like 21 or, you know, something like that. Um, but again, you can test that out, um, with the fuzzy, uh, yarn for my actual poncho. I chained 81. Um, but it's a quite, it's quite stretchy and I think I could have done 71 and been safe. Um, you're always going to want that odd chain. You don't want it to be even because you're going to lose that chain. You're going to lose one of those chains when you work it up. So, but with this, since it doesn't have as much give, I'm still going to go with 81. So go ahead and here's one, two, three, four, five. And go ahead and chain 81 and I'll meet you right back. All right, I decided to still go with 71 um, because if you are using the same brand that I did for my original, um, it will be plenty of room as long as it can fit over your head. All right, so... Um, I did 71 and then what you're going to do is pull that out, go to your other end and you're going to stick your hook in through the first or the, yeah, the first chain. Okay. Then you're going to follow this like this because you don't want it to twist. This is the issue that I had. Um, with the fuzzy yarn because you can't even see the stitches so um, very well so follow this along make sure that it doesn't twist and then you're going to put your hook in there and the cat is joining me I was afraid she was going to <laughs> knock over my camera. All right. Um, 
So that should be good. And then you're going to slip stitch and join these, okay? Sorry if this is blurry at all. It wants to focus on the snails in the back in between when I'm moving. So now you've got this joined and you're gonna make sure what you wanna do, I don't have the surface right now, but you're gonna wanna lay it down and make sure that it is um, not twisted. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this against here actually. And I don't believe that mine is, okay? And then what you're going to do is in the same stitch that you're that you slip stitched in you're going to do three you're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to double crochet into that same stitch oh goodness <clears throat> So now that first one, that chain three counted as one double crochet, here's two. You need a third one. And this is gonna be the corner, the first corner of your shawl or poncho. Why did I say shawl? Then you're gonna chain three. <clears throat> and then you're gonna do the same thing, three more in the same stitch. One, two, and th oh, I have to pull a little yarn here, and three, <clears throat> I've been putting off this video actually because I haven't been feeling well and I think it is my allergies because probably for a good two weeks now I've had a sore throat. <laughs> Um, headache, off and on, um, sniffles, and I'll feel lousy, and then I'll start to feel better, and then I'll feel lousy. So I really do believe that it is, because nobody else in my family is getting it. And usually if we are truly sick, we spread it around, and there's a hair. Um, it has not been going through the rest of us, so I really do think that it is my allergies. But I apologize for any coughing or sniffling or clearing of my throat that I'm doing in the video. I do apologize. All right, so we've got our corner. And then here, I'm just going to chain one. <clears throat> and then in the next chain, right here, we are going to do a double crochet. I really needed to have a plain background for you guys. We're doing only two. We're only going to do two. We're not going to do three like we did on the corner. I mean, you can. Come on. But on my other poncho, I only did two. Then we're going to chain one. And we're going to go into the next one. And actually, you know what? I did screw up. I did screw up. We don't want to do the corner yet. We need to go all the way around this first. I'm sorry, guys. This is how many times I, and I just undid my. Learning a new project comes with errors, correct? All right, so we're going to do this again. Comes with errors and redos. So we're gonna follow this 
Make sure that it doesn't twist. Slip stitch. Oh gosh, I'm struggling this morning, guys. <laughs> Slip stitch. And then we're just going to go all the way around with a half double, half double crochet. So we're going to go into here. Oh, I missed it. Oh, you guys. I do apologize. All right, half double. And then we go again. Next chain, half double. And you're going to do this <laughs> all the way around. I apologize for the confusion, you guys. Please bear with me again. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And, uh, yeah. So, please don't hold it against me. Alright. So, I will meet you back when we get all the way around to over here. Okay, so I put a blanket up over the tank so that we have more solid background. So that the camera doesn't try and focus constantly. Um, so I went all the way around. I already checked to make sure that it wasn't twisted. I laid it flat and it's not twisted. And I did a slip stitch into my very first stitch. So if you can get to that point, then we can move on. And it, here is where we will do our corner. All right. So our corner is going to go into this space that we slip stitched into. All right, so you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into that same space that you slip stitched into. And then you're going to do it again. Another double crochet so that you have three. One, two, three. Your chain three is your first one. All right. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. I'm sorry if I'm getting out of the shot, guys. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. All right. And then you're going to double crochet into the same place. This is going to create our corner. One. two and three All right so there is our corner and when you want to basically to get to the other side to do that corner you're going to since we used 71 what you're going to do is divide 71 by 2 and that is going to be how many stitches you go through to get to the next corner. So we did 71 stitches. So it's going to be um, stitch 35 that we're going to be doing our other corner. So go ahead and, okay, what we're gonna do here is because even though we did three double crochets, two clusters of three double crochets, you can still do a cluster of three all the way down. What I did in mine was just a cluster of two. So I chained one and then um, in the next stitch I double crocheted twice. So one and two.
Actually, it was, it was, I skipped a stitch. You skip a stitch. <laughs> so that would be one. Here's two. I double crochet. Twice. One. And two. Chain one. Skip a stitch. Double crochet into the next one. Double crochet again. Okay, chain one. Skip a stitch and keep going until you get to stitch number 35. And make sure that when you're counting, you include the stitches that you're skipping. And then when you get to 35, we will do the next corner. Okay, so right here is um, my stitch 35. And you may find that you have too many here, like you've got an extra. So you either skip one and then you're right next to it, or you could skip two. And honestly, if you skip two, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, you can also go into skip and go into that and then go into the next one instead of 35. Because technically when you... Um, divide 71 you get 35 and a half so it can go here it could go here um if you can't skip a stitch by the end it really is okay because if you're using a fluffier yarn than what this is you really want, aren't going to see it unless you really look close and um you know the yarn is forgiving so um what I'm going to do is I am just going to go into the next one. So I am going to, I think I already did my, yeah, I already did my chain one. So I am going to go here, do my two double crochets. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't watch myself in the, in the shot because then I, my perception is crazy. And then this is 35, so I'm going to go into 36. And in 36, you're going to do three of the double crochets because this is your corner. So I chained one. One. Two. three and you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And you're going to go into that same stitch. One, two, three. All right, so there is our second corner and then you're going to keep going you're going to chain one skip a stitch go into the next one so I'll meet you back when we get to the next corner and I'll show you if uh, if we are short a skip a stitch or whatever have extra I'll show you how you can uh, finish that off so that it doesn't look like it's a big deal so I'm a few stitches away and it looks like I have a perfect amount because here I have my two you skip do it here skip do it here and then there's one here and then the skip do it here so it worked out perfect to do it that way into the 36 instead of 35 so let's finish that up I did my chain one and I am going to skip, go into the next one. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
chain one, skip, go into the next one. And the last one that we skip really looks hidden, but it is there. All right, chain one. And then you are going to slip stitch. So we're skipping again, and then you're gonna slip stitch into the first the top of the right here right here so here's your first double crochet you're gonna slip stitch right in here and then we want to be right here so you're gonna slip stitch into the next one slip stitch into the space and now we can go on with our corner. So you're gonna do chain three, one, two, and three, double crochet. Double crochet again. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three same space this is really getting on my nerves this tail all right one more you've got your corner and now we don't have to worry about skipping stitches because we're gonna go into every space. So you're going to chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So I will do that and I'll meet you back at that corner. Okay, so we have one more space before we get to our corner. So I just finished the two double crochets in here. I'm gonna chain one. Then I'm going to do my two double crochets. In that space. Chain one. And then we go right into this corner. Like it's, it's like the corner isn't even there. The only difference is we're going to do the three double crochets and then chain three and three double crochets. There's no special, the cat is wanting to get in my way. Um, there's no special thing to do on this side like we did on the other side with the slip stitching. We just continue on. So we go into this corner space, double crochet. Sorry, I was up too high. Double crochet again. Double crochet again. Chain three. One, two, and three. And do three more in the same space. One. Two. And three. Oh my goodness, I need to have my skein on the other side. <laughs> All right, so there is our continued corner. We're gonna chain one, and then you just continue on until you get to the other end. So again, you do your chain one, double two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and I will meet you back at the other corner. All right, so we got to our last space in this row. We're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna go to the top of this first double crochet. Oh my goodness, it's hard to find it. We're actually gonna go right here. We're gonna go right here. 
All right, and you slip stitch, slip stitch again, slip stitch into the space, and now we are ready for continuing our corner and doing another row. So it is definitely taking shape. It's not twisted, it's just a little stiff because of the yarn choice. But um, it's definitely taking shape. And at this point, you can pull it over your head to see if it is roomy enough to fit your head through. If it's tight, um, I suggest at this point, since you're not too far into it, that you can pull it out and add some more chains. Um, make sure you do it um, in multiples of I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be multiples of 10 as long as you do, if you do 10, you do an 11th. If you're doing five, do six. Um, so yeah, that way you will always have enough stitches. And basically this is like a granny square. It's like the basic granny square. You're just doing it around like this yeah so that's basically all it is that's all I did to get the poncho that I did create and again I will put up the picture of the finished product um, in the yarn of my choice that wasn't this um, one two three and uh, you do it for as long as you, as, as big as you want it, as big as you want it. Um, I used three skeins of that Lion Brand yarn. Um, I could have gone with another, but I chose to stop it at that point. And again, I probably with that yarn should have gone with 71 instead of 81 for the neck. Um, but again, it was my first poncho, so um, yeah, you live and learn. Um, 71 is a little tighter for this one because it doesn't have as much stretch. But um, again, and you can do this for any person, any age person. You can make a baby poncho and you just make the neckline a lot smaller and then make it as big go as long as you want to go um as short as you want to go as long as you want to go and um for any any adult your neckline's going to be pretty similar um but for children it's going to be a little different but again the younger the smaller it'll be so baby toddler child teenager you know, you just kind of go a little smaller. But basically, that is all it is. It is a very simple poncho to make. Um, I have seen patterns where they're a little more complicated, and we could go into those in the future. But I wanted to start with, since it was my first poncho, I wanted to start with an easy pattern. So basically, the granny square idea. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's super simple. I would love to see um, your projects. If you decide to make this poncho, I'd love to see the finished product. You can email that to me at um, lisaburgh at gmail.com and attach a picture of the poncho you made. Um, I wish you guys could share pictures in the comment section of this video, but apparently that is not a thing. So yeah, you can email me your finished poncho and let me see what you guys worked up. So anyway, that is all it takes you guys to make this super easy poncho. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope you have a great day. I cannot believe that it is... October is going to be over you so soon, you guys. It is the 20th today. I cannot believe it. So anyway, um, that's about all I have. 
Um, this is the beginnings of the poncho. And again, you just keep going until you get to the length that you want. And then you just finish it off up at this top. You would slip stitch and just be done. Um, so basically, if this, say this was the, you know, we had a lot more rows going for us. We had a lot more rows going, okay? Um, and you want to finish it off. All right? So here would be the end of our row. I'm going to chain one and then you would just slip stitch right here. And you don't have to go any further. You don't need to slip stitch here or here and you would just finish it off right here. And your poncho would be complete. You would, you would pull this through, cut the end off and you would be finished. So yeah, that is all that it takes. Hope everybody has a great day. Um, happy Halloween um, in about 10 days, 10, 11 days. So um, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you soon.